Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use some clever CSS to change the style of the Quick View product light box in Squarespace. Now, what the heck is a Quick View product light box? When you have an individual product on a standard page, you can actually enable something called Quick View, where someone can hover over that product with their cursor, see a little Quick View button, and open up a light box to view details about that product without having to go all the way to the product page. Page. Now in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to not only add that individual product to a page, how to enable the quick view. We're also going to hop into CSS and go over all of the codes below so you understand what parts of them to change to make this quick view product light box look amazing on your own website. Now I do want to mention really quickly, this demo is in my Squarespace 7.1 website, but the codes I'm using today work in any version of Squarespace. So if you're on an older site like Brian or Bedford, you're still in the right place. If you're on the latest version of 7.1, you're definitely in the right place. Same codes and same steps to follow. Okay, awesome. Let's go ahead and hop into my demo site and get started with this one. So here we are in my demo site. Again, I'm using 7.1, but it's the same in any version. Just hop into edit mode for a page and wherever you see the little droplet to add a content block, that's what we need to do. I'm just gonna type the word product so we can easily grab it. And I've uploaded Gus, my favorite pineapple with sunglasses here. So uh, this is an individual product on my site. And then if I scroll down, I can select enable quick view. That's what we wanna do today. So I'm gonna select that option and then select apply. And up here at the very top, I'll go ahead and select save. Alrighty, there we go. So we've got the product and you'll see as soon as my cursor hovers over it, we have the option for this quick view button right here. If I click on that button, a light box is going to open. Now, unfortunately, you can't change a lot of this design style using the design menu in Squarespace. So this is where we're going to add some custom code today. I'm going to navigate to design and then scroll all the way down to custom CSS at the bottom. This is where our code's going to go. Now all the codes I'm using today are listed in the description below, but let's go ahead and get started right off the bat with this button. If we want this button to be a different style than any of the other product buttons on our site, we can start by saying sqs-product-quick-view-content, spell that correctly, there we go, and then I added a space, and next we're going to say sqs-add-to-cart-button. Okay, now opening up a bracket, I can say background color, let's make it purple. That's Gus's favorite color, little known fact. Then we're gonna add exclamation point, important to the end of that, and check it out, our button is now purple. Now let's say all the buttons on my site are rounded, but for some reason I want this quick view button to not be rounded. I can say border radius zero px, exclamation point, important. And there we go, now it's a solid box for me. So anything you wanna to do to a particular button, you can do that by starting with the actual code name, SQS product quick view content, SQS add to cart button, okay? Let's talk about some of the other things we can change. Let's say you wanna add a border to the entire quick view light box here. For that, we just need to talk about the content that goes by the code name, SQS product quick view content, and then I'll open up a bracket and I'll say border 5px solid and we'll make it purple again. Now check it out. We actually have a border around the entire box. It really helps lift it off the page. One cool trick you can do as well is actually change this overlay that's showing up behind it. You'll notice the uh, inside the square on the top left there is slightly opaque and we've got the palm tree showing up there. There's actually an overlay over the rest of my site content to help that light box stand out. So what we can do with CSS is change the color of that as well. So we have a new line added here. I'm gonna go ahead and just paste the code from the description below and I'll show you here. What we've done is said, okay, we're gonna work with this background, make the background color purple. That's super important. Definitely do that for me, browser. And then I changed the opacity to 0.5. I wanna encourage you to play around with that a little bit. 0.5 means 50%. So I can say 0.2 to make it slightly lighter or 0.8 to make it 80%. So definitely have fun with that, changing the background color and the opacity as well. So one more thing I'd like to show you how to do before we're done with this tutorial today, and that's actually changing the color of this close X on the top right hand side there. Now you'd think we could change something like a background or just the color or the border color, but it won't respond to any of those. That right there is actually going to respond to the word stroke. So this is in the description beneath the video. I'm just gonna copy and paste it into a new line here. 
and you'll see we've just changed it to purple. If I change the stroke color to, let's say the word yellow, there we go, that'll make it stand out just a little bit more. Anything you'd like to change the color to, adjust the stroke color. Alrighty, that's it for today's tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this and want to learn more about CSS for Squarespace, be sure to check out my website, insidethesquare.co, and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you like this tutorial, you'll love my CSS cheat sheet. With over 30 pages of pro tips and code snippets specific for Squarespace, you can customize your site way beyond your design menu. Download your copy today at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.